Hello, yes. this is Retro TK2, and today we're learning about events in C Sharp. If this is your first video in the C Sharp series, I'd strongly suggest watching the series from the start. Cards should be on your screen now. And if you haven't already, might I suggest downloading the channel files that accompany this video. Cards should be on your screen once again. So let's get started. What is an event? Well, according to the Microsoft Docs, events enable a class or object to notify other classes or objects when something of interest occurs. The class that sends or raises the event is called the publisher, and the classes that receive or handle the event are called subscribers. In a typical c -sharp Windows form or web application, you subscribe to events raised by controls such as buttons and list boxes. You can use the Visual C Sharp Integrated Development Environment, IDE, to browse the events that a control publishes and select the ones that you want to handle. Events Overview Events have the following properties. The publisher determines when an event is raised. The subscribers determine what action is taken in response to the event. An event can have multiple subscribers. A subscriber can handle multiple events from multiple publishers. Events that have no subscribers are never raised. Events are typically used to signal user actions such as button clicks or menu selections and graphical user interfaces. When an event has multiple subscribers, the event handlers are invoked synchronously when an event is raised. So the differences between events and delegates is, is certainly not clear from what the docs say. So what are the differences with events and delegates? An article on c -sharp in will hopefully shed a bit of light on this. Events. First things first, events aren't delegate instances. Let's try that again. Events aren't delegate instances. It's unfortunate in some ways that c -sharp lets you use them in the same way in certain situations, but it's very important that you understand the difference. The article then goes on to say that events are a bit like properties. While properties look like they're fields, they're definitely not. And you can write properties which don't use fields at all. Similarly, while events look like delegate instances in terms of the way you express the add and remove operations, they're not. Events are pairs of methods, appropriately decorated in IL to tie them together and let languages know that the methods represent events. This is probably a little bit heavy duty for us here, yes, since we haven't even touched upon IL before, but bear with it for the moment. The methods correspond to add and remove operations, each of which take a delegate instance parameter of the same type, the type of the event. What you do with those operations is pretty much up to you, but the typical use is to add or remove the delegate from a list of handlers for the event. When the event is triggered, whatever that trigger might be, a button click, a timeout, an unhandle exception, the handlers are called in turn. Note that in c -sharp, the calling of the event handlers is not part of the event itself. Events themselves can be declared in two ways. The first is an explicit add and remove methods, declared in a very similar way to properties, but with the event keyword. Here's an example of an event for the system.eventHandler delegate type. Note how it doesn't actually do anything with the delegate instances, which are passed to the add and remove methods. It just prints out which operation has been called. Note that the remove operation is called even though we have told it to remove null. This is his example is. We'll go into this a little bit more detail. I just want to sort of show you it here. Although it would be very rare to ignore the values in this way, there are times when you don't want to back an event with a simple delegate variable. For instance, in situations where there are lots of events but only a few are likely to be subscribed to, you can have a map for some key descripting the event to the delegate currently handling it. A shorthand field like events. C -sharp provides a simple way of declaring both a delegate variable and an event at the same time. This is called a field like event and is declared very simply. It's the same as the longhand event declaration, but without the body part. This is extremely similar yes, to the get set uh, declaration, if you remember from our properties example. Okay, it's a little bit of information there, so let's look at this a little bit closely in the code. Open up Unity and create a basic C -sharp script. As always, make sure you give your script a different name than any other class in your project. 
As always, yes, I'm going to be using Unity Spice for our login. If you'd like to get it yourself, follow the card on your screen and the instructions after that. Okay, events. Let's create our very own public delegate. Delegate. And this is just going to be a simple int return. And we will call it method del. And we will also give it a string parameter. Yes, absolutely excellent. Okay, so if we wanted to declare a basic field variable, yes, or a field field like event, we would go public event, we would give the event its type, which would be method del. And then we would also give it a name. Let's call it method del event. Seems like a pretty terrible name. And there we go. Yes, we have declared our method del event. Now if we go in, you'll see we'll be able to actually uh, subscribe methods to this. So I want to go and, or subscribe delegates to this, maybe I should say. I'm going to go and create a basic method with a string s. Excellent. And we're just going to return a very quick and easy zero. Excellent. So now we can go in and do method del event plus equals method, as you've seen with the delegates yes. And then we can invoke our, our event as we would have before. Very basic is yes, nothing too crazy here at the moment. And of course we can also invoke it like so. If we pop back into C sharp, actually I want to make it so that we log out our S on this as well. So let's do a log here. Excellent. Pop back into Unity, wait for it to compile. Excellent, and drag our game object onto any game object in the scene and run the game. And you'll see that string is logged. So very basic is yes, all stuff that we've seen before. And we can also even go one step further with this and add in an unsubscribe method to our method del event. Go back into Unity, rerun. And you'll see that string is given. <laughs> and then we also get the null reference exception because of course, once we've unsubscribed from our method, then we haven't given it an empty method uh, to use. So therefore this method is actually technically equal to null. Yes. Uh, just to clear that up a little bit, I'm going to add in, uh, I'm going to add in, no, I'm not going to add in anything actually. Yes. I'm just going to leave it like that because yeah, that's fair enough. Okay. Okay. Yes. So now that we've done all that, let's see another pretty cool thing you can do with events. Right. So, we can declare the event as we've seen with the standard field like one, but we can also declare one that is a property event. Let's have a little look at it. So, well, more like a more follows the standard property syntax. So if I create one like so, I give it the add property and remove property. You'll see that this is completely valid. Uh, it must be noted is that you actually have to have the add and remove, you can't just have add on its own or remove on its own, they both have to exist together. So now you can see that this is completely fine. Now you can't uh, unfortunately invoke anymore. We have lost that functionality and you also cannot assign anymore. Uh, we've also lost that functionality. As you can see, we can get the error, the event method del event can only appear in the left hand side of plus equals. So what's the point in all of this? Well, you can have a, a private a method del event, or you could indeed have just a standard delegate if you wanted to, yes, and assign it using this syntax. Now I must admit, yes, I have never really used this before, um, but I can definitely see the utility with this. So delegate subscription as under predictable results. And you can also have it it probably actually this would be great in an event class if you wanted to have it so that this was your subscription driver and you know if you wanted to add delegates you could do so like this with the public interface and then have it maybe so that you could have some sort of reset method and then in your reset method you could then have a uh, method del event uh, set to null which would be really cool. Uh, I really enjoy this, yes. And then of course you could even have your own uh, invoke. 
a method that would, of course, then go and invoke said uh, private uh, event handler here, or the sorry, just the uh, the standard delegate here, and here we would of course pass in our string s, and these of course would both be public. Again, yes, I must admit I have never used this before, but I can certainly see the utility in it. I would kind of have preferred, I suppose, maybe for like a raised uh, keyword here, or maybe invoked, so that whenever the this property here was called, or the event publisher, I guess, if you want to call it, or handler. I get very, very confused with the syntax in these things, yes, but uh, anyway, let's have a little look. So now if we use our normal method, we have the plus equals and, and then if we used our little invoke uh, method that we have just created and type in S maybe, we could of course go back into Unity, click our play button, and you'll see it all works as you would expect it to, yes, with our nice S being logged. And the nice thing about this, yes, is that you also get to control or add in certain things, uh, certain information if you wanted to on the add subscription. So you would actually be able to go in and log out all of the points whenever a subscription was occurring and for whatever reason, if you wanted to. So let's say add and let's do another subscription down here, remove. And if we go back into Unity and rerun, you'll see that it goes in with the ad. And because we aren't unsubscribing this, you can see that we don't actually get this unsubscription uh, called, which is very cool. So what would be the point in ever using the add and the remove uh, properties here is? Encapsulation, usually any sort of thing to do with this would be coming back to encapsulation. Uh, doing it this way allows us to control exactly when our event uh, handler is subscribed to and also prevents anybody from overriding the invocation list uh, like so. Because if we did a null here, then you would be instantly hit with an error and you of course wouldn't be able to run your code. So the difference between events and uh, delegates is simply that well, the big difference it being is, is that they aren't delegate instances. You can use them or declare them as if they are delegate instances, but they are, of course, these add remove sort of syntactic sugar going on underneath. Kind of like properties in the way that, uh, you know, whenever you use the, if I used a standard property like so int prop uh, get set. This has a field underneath that is driving it is. It is not just, although it can be used as a standard field, which is kind of cool. So that is going to do it for events. I must admit, yes, I don't necessarily use them that much. I use delegates more often, but I think now that I've seen uh, this add and remove property stuff, I will start using them a little bit more. Um, yeah. I think I'll do it. <laughs> so yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Yes, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. You can email me at retrotk2 at gmail.com with anything you like. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.